Hi, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in North Chesterfield. More specifically, I am off the Walmsley Boulevard corridor, and today we're going to take a look at a three bedroom, one and a half bath townhome. Uh, this 1972 townhome is unusual for a couple reasons. Number one is it has a finished basement and uh, pretty rare for this area to have a finished basement in a townhome. Uh, even more rare to have one that was done in 1972. Uh, obviously, there are some upgrades that have been done to this home. It's attractively priced below tax assessment and the HOA here is about $160. Uh, of course, that uh, covers your exterior maintenance here. We've got a good looking uh, strip here. Uh, there is a wooded area directly across the street, so you don't have a whole lot of congestion here as far as additional units. And uh, it's fairly quiet. We do have a little bit of road noise. Uh, we've got a street that's right there on the other side, but it's nothing major. Most of the work that's needed here is going to be flooring. Uh, we'll see that mostly upstairs and um, during this video I wanted to talk about fear. Uh, I remember back many years ago when I was in 8th grade, uh, I finally at the 8th grade dance got up the courage to ask this good looking young lady uh, to uh, slow dance with me and she said yes. and. Um, at that point, I realized that uh, girls were probably the best thing invented uh, outside of food. And I, I, still, I still feel strongly that way today. Um, one of the things that I get a lot of are phone calls from first time buyers and they say, I'm scared, I'm scared. And that's understandable. Uh, it's the biggest financial commitment of your life. However, for a lot of people, it's one of the best investments they ever make. Uh, there are a lot of safeguards in place for home buyers, and one of the goals that I have with these videos is to inform people uh, some of the tips, tricks, pitfalls uh, when it comes to buying real estate. Uh, one of the things that I always share with them is that no one ever makes you buy a home, uh, especially a foreclosure or a bank owned property, if the condition isn't what you expect. Uh, part of the process is to have a home inspection and after that home inspection in the case of foreclosures and bank owned homes is that you decide whether or not that home is acceptable to you. If it's not acceptable to you, we just simply let the seller know and we get out of the transaction. You haven't lost anything except you've paid for the home inspection, but you get your deposit back. Uh, with a traditional sale, buyer and seller negotiate as far as any repairs go. So if buyer and seller do not have a meeting of the minds, the sale typically just doesn't happen. And of course you still get your deposit back. So that's uh, one of the protections that's built in. Number two protection is people are scared of maintenance. They're scared of having this huge repair. And that's where the home warranties come in. Home warranties are offered. Uh, typically we try to get the seller to pay for them. Uh, if not, then the purchaser can buy it uh, on their own. Typically, we're looking at about four to $500 for a home warranty for a year. Uh, that home warranty will cover uh, many systems in the home, but the major system that you're thinking about is gonna be the heating and air system. That's the high dollar system that oftentimes uh, will go bad and you won't know exactly when it's gonna go bad. We know that some units will last for 12 years, some units last for over 20 years. So there's kind of an unknown there as far as heating and air units go. Uh, as far as the roof is concerned, a home inspector can look at a roof and say, yeah, you've got three years or yeah, you've got another 15 years. That's a little easier to determine when it's going to need to be replaced. But that home warranty can be a huge, huge uh, savior as far as having to come out of pocket with a lot of money for an unexpected repair. The thing that I recommend uh, to all my buyers is to make sure you set some money aside so that if there is something that comes up that is not covered, that's unexpected, and you have to pay it, you're not putting yourself in a bad position. Uh, one of the benefits of home ownership is once you get that fixed rate mortgage in place, 
it's fixed. That payment for your principal and interest that you borrowed remains the same for all 30 years of the life of that loan. If you're doing a 15 year loan, obviously it stays in place for 15 years. Rent is gonna go up over time. We know that that's pretty much a guaranteed thing. If you are a tenant, you know there's a good chance that your landlord has or will continue to increase those rent payments. And of course, having a mortgage is a way to not only protect yourself against that, but you get the tax break as well. Your tax preparer can tell you what your tax ramifications will be. For most people, it's a nice amount of money that they will save annually for the, the uh, mortgage interest deduction. And uh, so that's something that you don't want to overlook either. And of course, the concept of building equity. Uh, there are senior citizens right now in the city of Richmond that have less than $5,000 in the bank. However, they bought their home 20, 30, 40 years ago, and that home is worth $150,000, $200,000. And that's equity, and that's only because they decided instead of continuing to rent their whole life, they were gonna buy something. And that equity, of course, is real money that can make a difference in someone's life because of what they did years ago. So I try to alleviate those fears. There's also a home buyer education program here in Virginia. It's administered through Virginia Housing and Development Authority. I'm actually a authorized instructor for the real estate portion of that program. And every client that I have that has gone through that has really enjoyed it. They said they learned a lot. They learned about title issues. They have speakers come in, talk about home inspections, talk about the closing, talk about the lending process, talk about what to look for in a home. It's a really good comprehensive program. If you're the type of person that doesn't like people, then they even offer an online version of that class. So you don't have to sit next to somebody. If you don't want to, you can do it in the comfort of your own home. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Be sure to like and subscribe to this. If you are interested in real estate outside of my area, please give me a call. I can put you in touch with a good qualified agent that is experienced with bank and government owned homes and they'll take good care of you. Max Williams, 402-7788. Thanks so much. Have a great day.